welcome back to Dolphin Encounters. Last week on Emily Rose TV, we told you all about the beach day and showed you the cute, cuddly sea lions. This week, it's time to show you what Dolphin Encounters is known for. The dolphins. First, we're going to interview someone who is a part of Dolphin Encounters. Here we are on Blue Lagoon Island with one of the members of the family who owns Dolphin Encounters, Kelly Meister. We're gonna ask her some questions. Are you closely attached to the dolphins and sea lions? And do you train them and feed them as well? I am very closely attached to all the animals that live on Dolphin Encounters. They mean a great deal to our family, um, especially Princess, I'll say this, she is my favorite. I hope the other animals aren't listening um, because I met her when I was six years old and so she's been with us, she's 43 years old now. So, you know, I've known her a very long time, most of my life, most of her life. Um, but all the other animals, especially um, our dolphins that have been born here through the years, and now our sea lions that came to us after Hurricane Katrina, all of them mean a great deal to uh, our family and to our trainers. I'm not a trainer, so I do not train the animals. We have incredible people that do that. Um, but we're always involved, and we're always knowing what's going on, and we always you know, pay close attention to what they're learning, and, and we learn from it too. I'm still learning, and I learn a lot from the trainers. But I don't feed them, um, and I'm not a trainer, no. Where did you get the dolphins and sea lions? Well, our dolphins, I, we've talked a little bit about uh, before. Two of them came from a facility that was closed. Um, uh, you know, over 21 years ago, and at that time we were allowed to uh, collect six uh, dolphins from Bahamian waters over 22 years ago to form a social group, and from there all the rest of our dolphins are born right here on Blue Lagoon Island. So they're all native uh, Bahamian dolphins, and our sea lions actually came to us a couple years ago. They lost their home after Hurricane Katrina destroyed it in Gulfport, Mississippi. And so our marine mammal director is from Mississippi, and she's worked with these animals before. And so when it became clear that their home would not be rebuilt, um, we got permission to rescue six of those sea lions, and they came to dolphin encounters. And since then, they've had a tremendous home. This is the first time they've ever lived in an all-natural environment. And um, people ask, are they doing really well? Well, the answer is yes. We've had Milo born. He's the first baby sea lion, California sea lion, ever born in the Bahamas. So they really love their new home here on Dolphin Encounters. Some people don't like animals kept in captivity. What are the pros of animals being held in captivity? Um, well, I can certainly speak you know, for our animals. And one of the number one things is, you know, they, they don't have to worry about things that animals in the wild um, have to worry about. First of all, most of our animals are only familiar with Blue Lagoon. This is their home. This is where their family is. They get the best medical care. Um, they get all the food they want to eat. They also don't have to worry about predators. Nothing's going to come here and harm them. And um, we know that they're healthy and they're happy. And the number one way to know that any animal is healthy and happy is that you know, if it has children. And you know, more than excuse me, more than half of our dolphins were born here at Dolphin Encounters, and that wouldn't be feasible if they weren't getting the nutrition they needed, the care that they needed. So, you know, that's one of the good things. Our animals live long, healthy lives here. One of the other amazing things about um, you know animals that are under our care is that all of our dolphins teach their young how to hunt because they can. They're in an all-natural environment in the ocean and so we have fish that come through and our moms teach their babies how to hunt so they all know how to hunt as well. Finally, it's time to see the dolphins. Today, we're going to do the dolphin close-up encounter. Hi everyone, now we're going to do a dolphin encounter. This is Andy the dolphin and this is Wendy, our trainer. Hi guys. Kaylee, age 10, would like to know if dolphins sleep. Well, they kind of sleep to them and sleeping because that's all they know. What they do is they shut down one half of their brain while the other half is up and working. The reason they do that is because they have to keep an outlook for predators, all right? Jenny's daughter, age seven, would like to know how dolphins survive if there's no food. Well, dolphins can't survive without food, okay? That's why these dolphins here at this facility don't have to worry about that problem, right? Because you're going to always get your food, right? Yeah, he's like, I'm going to always get my food. Brenda Jewell's daughter, age 9, would like to know what kind of fish dolphins eat and how do they digest the bones? Well, these dolphins at this facility, they eat three kinds of fish. We get them lake smelts, which I'm giving to him right now. 
They also get Caitlin right here, and they get Heron, the really big ones. Now they digest it because they have three different sections in their stomach. The three chambers, the first one actually is what breaks down the food. The second one breaks it down even more. And the third chamber is basically li for liquidation. It's down into basically liquid, okay? So that's how they digest it. www.dolphinencounters.com to learn more about what you saw here today. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.